Acura's first ever fully electric vehicle, the ZDX, will be here in 2024. Acura's has given us new quote unquote spy shots to break down the design. Let's get into it. Over at the Acura newsroom, Acura ZDX will define Type S performance for the electrified era. If you're new to the channel, this is my main channel. This is Kirk Kreifels, where I focus on industry auto news and reviews. And make sure to check out my second channel, which is a ton of accessory EV news and coverage as well. Kirky Cars, check that out. And let's get on to the ZDX and Type S performance variant. The ZDX Prototype is being rigorously tested and tuned to optimize the SUV's dynamics and overall driving experience. It builds on a lot of the styling cues that I broke down myself in New York with the Precision EV concept. That thing was really, really cool. And this is Acura's first zero emission production model that will be officially unveiled in 2023 and available in 2024. So let's get into the first image here. We had spy shots previously of this vehicle. I don't remember if I covered it on the channel or not, but let's get into this. We have some unique headlights, five little dots here. And then we have the full, like, you know, nighttime light here on the, in the center. And then on the right, we have a couple more, maybe for blinkers. Like that is, I mean, these could be prototype lights as well that are not final. So keep that in mind. Parking sensor down here uh, and around the bottom grill. There's not going to be much for grill. You see a very small diamond pentagon grill in here. The rest of it looks to be just generic, well, generic plastic, the, the rest of the bumper. But I thought, you know, the diamond pentagon grill would take up more space, but it looks to be actually quite small. Now, it's not a real grill. Um, it'll be very much like uh, the Precision EV concept that is kind of just like an outline of a grill, like a Superman badge. It will have LED lights that are indentations that make the grill kind of pop at night. So we have that going on and it's kind of hard to see what these additional pieces of down here are, but it looks like just maybe some cladding, some um, texture to make the front end look a little bit more aggressive. Uh, we also have a piece down here that's giving me design cues from the EV Precision concept, but let's get into the next image. We have a few. So looking at the back windshield wiper on the bottom of the, the light here, this vehicle will share a ton uh, with the Cadillac Lyric, and we'll talk about powertrains here in a second. So let's get through the images first, blacked out, gloss black, uh, shark fin antenna, as well as roof rails here. It's kind of hard to get a bead on the window here with it being camouflaged, but it looks like it could be like a little floating roof line all the way to the rear window situation. No exhaust pipes down here. You kind of get an idea of maybe of the rear suspension. Is this really difficult to see? Zooming in on the taillights, we still have that general chicane outline, but you can kind of see how it widens out here at the very tip of that in insert or internal tail light. Now, of course, just like the front, I'm feeling that all of these little lights on the back here are prototype. And I don't think we're going to get a bunch of circles inside of the front headlights or rear tail lights. Wheelbase is enormous on this, and that's going to allow them to stuff at least a hundred kilowatt hour battery in here. Uh, so pretty cool. What do you guys think so far? Do you think is it giving you feelings of the Cadillac Lyric? I mean, I don't know if I'm getting that yet, but maybe when I see the full reveal, I could see that. Um, here's another image. And I think we just kind of have the gist of this vehicle so far. We, we have a, a nice little zoom in shot here. Overall the dimensions look pretty good on this vehicle. And let's go ahead and get into the spreadsheet to talk about powertrains because this thing essentially is uh, sharing so much with the Cadillac Lyric. I had to find it for a second. So I kind of put them into one category here. Um, we have in the base model, 340 horsepower, but in the Type S, we should have 500 horsepower that we see from the all-wheel drive Lyric. Up to 477 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 should be under five seconds for the Type S and still very quick for the base model around five and a half seconds. That's essentially as fast as a 2.0 Supra that just left my driveway this morning. So uh, at least a hundred kilowatt hour battery here in a range of 275 miles on um, the all wheel drive model up to 312 miles on the rear wheel drive model. Starting price 67,000 and the EV tax credit is a continuously moving goalpost it feels like at this point. But uh, this vehicle, since it is built in Spring Hill, Tennessee, 
should qualify for the tax credit in some shape or form. So they have a good competition here uh, from not only Genesis, but the Germans as well. The Lexus RZ has kind of been put on hold. We don't know when that vehicle is going to be uh, hitting the market. I don't know when I'll have a chance to drive it either. Um, the e-trons have just been upgraded to the SQ8 and Q8. Those things are an absolute, they're just monsters with the amount of torque they have. It's a triple motor uh, setup on the SQ8. So that's going to be super fast and fun to drive. I think they also look really cool. So definitely stay tuned. I will be getting Audis, BMW, Stellantis vehicles, et cetera, et cetera. As I build my channel out, I've been talking to Ford. So some of those vehicles will be on my main channel. And then some of them will also flow on over to my second channel. So stay tuned for all that. Can't wait to share all my electrified vehicle news with you guys in the future. Are you excited for the ZDX? Are you excited that they're bringing the name back? And are you excited for the Type S? I think it's gonna be pretty cool. And Acura, don't forget, Acura will, shortly after the ZDX come out, they'll start building vehicles on Honda's new uh, E architecture, which starts in 2026, 2027 timeframe. So they will be building Acuras on their own platform, not with General Motors, not with the Gondam relationship because Honda will be uh, having their own battery plant with LG. So it's happening and it's gonna be happening pretty quick. So stay tuned, I need to cut myself off. Thank you for watching and peace.